Hello everyone. Today in this lecture we will learn the mechanism of photosensitization and its application. In the last video you might have seen that photosensitization is a very particular very important process of photochemistry or photochemical reaction. Uh, <clears throat> let us remind the last video what we learned there. Here see this D for donor which is also called as photosensitizer. It is also called as photosensitizer. This is photosensitizer. This photosensitizer will absorb EMR or radiation and become activated. This activated means it's excited to the higher state. Suppose it is exciting the S1 state and from S1 it is transferring to triplet state. T1 we can say like this. So we learn in Jablonowski single state and triplet state. Okay. Fine. Now this this donor which is in triplet state so we can write here donor excited but we can write here triplet state also transfer its energy to this reactant R4 reactant which was very inefficient or was not reactive in the given radiation UV radiation or visible radiation range. So this reactant which was inefficient or not reactive with the directly with the radiation. So when such reactants are reacted with this activated donors or photosensitizer, these sensitizer transfer their energy to this reactant and this reactant become activated and most probably they will be in triplet state and donor return to their ground state. Now this reactant which are in the triplet state convert into the product formation. This is what the simple mechanism of the photosensitization. And here donor is D is also called as photosensitizer. Let us take a very particular example and we will try to understand what will happen if you take examples of uh, photosensitizer and its <coughs> activity. Let us consider, uh, we will take here two examples to understand our idea, to have idea of photosensitization. See, butadiene. I will write here butadiene. This is what butadiene. Do not absorb this radiation. Therefore, no reaction is possible. No reaction is possible. Why? Because butadiene, butadiene does not absorb the radiation but however when you mix this butadiene when you mix this butadiene or if you radiate this butadiene in the presence of sensitizer here we can use benzophenone very famous compound you will find in many many examples benzophenone so then this this butadiene will definitely convert into the product formation and what is the product or products <coughs> what are the product or products we will see here in today lecture so see here first of all this benzophenone so we can write like this ph2 c double bond o this benzophenone absorb light energy and it convert into or excited into singlet state okay fine so we can write like this one means singlet state and we know this singlet can also come back to its ground state by fluorescence or maybe by non radiative process fine now this benzophenone which is activated now undergo into intersystem crossing we know intersystem crossing and it becomes what it becomes triplet state so we can write like this triplet state 
so ph2 c double bond of triplet state now this this triplet state is called as a activated state of the benzophenone triplet state now this triplet state transfer its energy to this butadiene which was very insensitive to the towards the radioactive reaction so uh, towards the radiation energy now this but this benzophenone which is in triple state transfer its energy to this butadiene <clears throat> this butadiene now become activated how see this butadiene now become activated now become activated and the benzophenone return to its ground state okay fine now this is what the this is called as photosensitization <clears throat> up to this step is photosensitization now this this butadiene which is in triplet state this butadiene which is in triplet state now further proceed for the reaction and form different types of products what we have seen in the pericyclic reaction so i am writing just products which form when uh, possible products which form uh, in during this photochemical reaction of uh, uh, this uh, cyclobutadiene sorry one three butadiene so one is this another is not this one another there is this one cyclobutane ring and here like this and one more possible product is this one and uh, like this sorry one more possible product is uh, this one so this is what about the application of benzophenone as a photosensitizer so let us go for this is one of the very important application one more application we will see here so if you consider the naphthalene <clears throat> if you consider the naphthalene uh, let us go for naphthalene structure so if you find the naphthalene is a, not the reactive molecule so if if you see the naphthalene if we see the this is a naphthalene and it is also do not show any physical properties or any chemical properties in the present when exposed to light no no property or we can say no reaction take place why because the reason is the energy we provide to this naphthalene uh, that energy is 350 uh, nanometers around this in this region range there is a uv range so this is not absorbing this energy therefore they give no reaction but when we add a small amount of photosensitizer for example benzophenone this this naphthalene will show a uh, very important property that is called as phosphorescence so let us see let us uh, write this reaction so here see uh, when we take a benzophenone i am writing here benzophenone this benzophenone uh, absorb energy and it becomes excited and goes to the uh, singlet state i will write like this and it undergo inter system crossing and i will write here the triplet state of benzophenone which act as a sensitizer now this this sensitizer which is in triplet state now transfer its energy to this naphthalene which was inactive which was inactive towards the radiation reaction now this transfer its energy this sorry sorry this triplet state of uh, sensitizer transfer energy to this naphthalene and now naphthalene become now this naphthalene becomes activated that is we can write here see we can write here naphthalene in the excited state now this naphthalene emit energy in the form of light and that is called as phosphorescence that is called as this light immersion em emission of light from this naphthalene is called as phosphorescence phenomena in the absence of benzophenone in the absence of benzophenone 
this phenomena cannot be observed by this naphthalene and therefore this is called as the application of photosensitizer photo sensitizers are very useful to carry out the different reactions so this is what about the photosensitizer and its application what are the important uh, properties of photosensitizer number one property is its energy should be less its triplet state should be uh, higher energy than the triplet state of the, uh, the reacting molecule which are not uh, which, which are not reacted towards the photon or energy one more important point of this uh, photosensitizer is they should not get contaminated or they should not interfere during the analysis of the product so this is what about the photosensitization and its application so this is uh, like this video we will discuss the next topic in the next uh, video thank you thank you very much